Well, I, I'm uh, I'm excited to be with this guest uh, because I'm actually intimidated because she is one of the most <laughs> evil people that I have ever known uh, on screen. Better watch uh, out. Uh, on, on Dallas, she just did unspeakable things uh, to my friend Patrick Duffy. You know, I, Patrick and I are good friends, actually. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we talk about you all the time. About really? How no, no. But <laughs> Morgan Brittany's here, and, I, and thanks for making the trip down here. Absolutely. Um, you played, uh, you don't mind playing villainesses, do you? No, actually, they are very fun to play. Why? They really are. Because you get to get away with everything. True. When you are a good girl, you have parameters. When you're a bad girl, you go everywhere. You can do anything, and nobody can tell you. Exactly. And the plot really advances more on what you're doing as a yeah. villainess. I mean, you have to, to wait for that. Uh, let me go back in time a little bit, because a lot of the folks we speak to, uh, I speak with in the late 70s, and early 80s, mid 80s, and they, they did live TV. And I was looking up your resume, and I said, Playhouse 90, mm -hmm. you must have been two years old. <laughs> I mean, how, what was doing live? What well, was live TV? I started my career before I was born. So, <laughs> um, yeah, live TV. Actually, the very first thing that I ever did, I did a live television commercial on the Steve Allen show. Oh, he'd way be a great guy. back then. Yeah. Great guy. And I was five. So I started in the business at five. Live TV was, um, it was different in the fact that you had cameras moving around and right into your face and you had your camera operators moving in and pushing in and pushing you out. You had to be really disciplined for that. You had to be. It was very much like doing theater. Yeah. Very much like that. Um, now later on, of course, a lot of people will remember too, if they're fans, since we are here in North Carolina, uh, near the home of Andy Griffin. Yes. Will remember that you were Opie's first girlfriend. I was Opie's first love, actually. Yeah. Yes. Nothing yes. really happened sexually there. Did no, it? we were too young. Yeah. But it was it was uh, it was actually one of the greatest experiences I think I've had on a TV show. That uh, that entire cast was so welcoming and so wonderful to work with. Even when you, when you go in as a guest star, you don't know anybody. I had known Ron Howard a little bit before, but I, you don't know anyone, and right. you're thrust into an atmosphere. And they were so welcoming with open arms, and it was just it was a wonderful experience. How was Andy to work with? Andy was could not have been better. He was great, and he loved that show so much. You uh, you played uh, Scarlett O'Hara in a TV movie too that I thought I was great. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Was yeah. that fun to do? And that was that was amazing. I mean, to Vivian Lee was one of my all time favorites. Uh, Natalie Wood and Vivian Lee were right. my two, and I was told, you know, as I grew up when I turned 18, 19, I looked, they said, you look like Scarlett O'Hara. You look like a young... Made a great Scarlett. Yeah, Scarlett. And so I, I actually incorporated that into who I made myself, you know, and the image that I created for myself, and it worked. Scarlett would have seduced Opie. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, not that I'm obsessed <laughs> with that, but it's, uh, it just concerns me. Absolutely. The, the final thing is, let's tell us uh, what you're doing these days. These days, uh, I've pretty much retired from the acting world, and um, I have gone into political commentary. I have a web series called Polita Chicks with a couple of other ladies. We do interviews, and we um, are the voice of the conservative woman. So I get a lot of flack from Hollywood for that. <laughs> but right. other than that, you know, I... Um, I just feel I work for Veterans Affairs and Gary Sinise's foundation, and I just feel that there's something, there's something more I need to do. And this country is such a wonderful place. I, I just, I feel like I have to get out there. That's and great. Now say the, uh, uh, say the the name of the website again, because I want to make sure your people can go to it. What yes, it? it's called politichicks.tv. Now how would that be spelled? P O L I T. I C I uh, C H I C K S. Yeah, I right? didn't make sure it was nothing. One of these C H I X no, things. No, it's okay. Polita Chicks. We're going to look at it. Dot TV. All Please right, do, we'll do, and I write articles for Town Hall as well. Well, that's great. Yeah. So even if we disagree, I could 
I could, you know, tweet you or something. Absolutely. I am I have liberal friends, I, a lot of liberal friends in Hollywood, and we agree to disagree, but that's what makes this country great. It is great. And I could ask you more about Opie. So you the, could. The great, uh, the great Morgan, and beautiful, and sometimes <laughs> villainous, Morgan Brittany. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Thanks so much.